Hi everyone and happy Friday. For those of you that saw my flip through on Wednesday, I am, uh, thanks for your comments, thanks for uh, your concern. I am, I am feeling a little bit better. Thankfully, I'm recording this on Thursday and uh, made myself actually get out and go to the store and stuff today and I at least felt well enough with the aid of good old caffeine to do that. So hopefully I am on the mend. Anyway, this is Flip Through Friday, as we all know and love. And this month, because of Sarnet September 2020, I am featuring the art of Marjorie Sarnet, who is definitely one of my favorite artists. I have a number of her books, so I figured since we're di diving into my collection, my theme for the overall month for Flip Through Friday would be uh, her work. And uh, so last week we covered some of her probably earlier work, which involved uh, the owls, creative cats, creative kittens, and fanciful foxes. Then you guys saw me color, I, I did a color and chat out of fanciful foxes on Monday. If you hadn't had a chance to see that, it is definitely in the video playlist. You want to go take a look. Today I thought we would deviate from the animals as much um, because she has quite a few books that feature animals but she also has a number of books that feature people or different types of designs so I thought today we would dive more into that part of the collection because I think she draws people and and other things just just as lovely as her uh, pet and animal based books so let's get started <clears throat> Before I get officially into the books, I'm going to go ahead and put this out here. These are all Creative Haven books. They all have the same type of paper, same type of design, 31 images, all single-sided, all perforated, and I would say probably medium quality paper. It has taken any type of <laughs> medium I've thrown at it, and it is pretty good paper. So. Um, but just that's the case with all four of these so I'm not going to repeat myself with each one they are roughly letter size eight and a half by eleven this is Magnificent Mermaids by of course Marjorie Sarnet I believe this one was published maybe m towards the middle of last year maybe around May and uh, here's the information on the back all of these books uh, all the Creative Haven books are printed by uh, Dover and so you can access those at Dover Publications as well. And I'll put those links in the description along with the Amazon ones. So let's open this one up, maybe. Usually on the inside of the covers, front and back, they have kind of like an inspiration type image, which this one's gorgeous. I, I would almost love to try to replicate that. You could probably do that in the background, maybe use some watercolor. So here is the title page. You get your description, par descriptive paragraph here, along with your copyright info. And then we get to the actual images. Let me zoom in just a hair so you can. Now, most of her art has a frame around it. There are some that are more, no, we're going back, back out. Okay, there we go. There are some of them that are more freeform that don't have a line, but typically they do have an outline on them, which is nice when you're doing backgrounds. Now, is it in here? I don't know if it's in here. I could have sworn Maybe it was, no, I have the wrong book. I did one in, in the fairies book. Okay, so I've not done one in this book yet. I am, I figure that next Monday I will either do a page out of this book or out of the, um, one of the other ones I'm going to show you. This is the one from the cover that I like real well. I am itching to use my watercolor pencils, so. These do at least at the start, these don't seem to have as complex of backgrounds. 
So for those of us that get, of us, including myself, that sometimes get intimidated by that, um, this might be a good one to get. Now I have noted before that I, mermaids aren't like high up on my list, but yet I still seem to collect <laughs> mermaid books. But I do really like this one. I love her hair right there. That is gorgeous. Her artwork is very flowy with a lot of curves and um, just gentle curves in her line art, I guess. It's not, um, you don't get a ton of blocky type images. They're very flowy and natural and soothing, I guess, is the word I'm kind of looking for. I like that one where she's riding on the turtle. Now see, this one's got a little bit more of some designs there. If And here's one here. It's definitely got a lot of designs in the background. Oh, I love her hair, too. And those little braids or dreadlocks or whatever they are. They That is gorgeous. I like that. Maybe I just... My plan is to color some of these off camera too. I just, being sick this week, I have not been able to do that. Her work is work that I struggle with in terms of, it would be difficult for me to just color it sitting on the couch. I feel like I need to be here in my art room to do her work justice. That one's pretty. So there are some, it's a mix. You do have some pages that have a little bit more of the um, complex designs and then other pages that aren't as, um, aren't, don't have as many of the designs. I don't know what, I'm having trouble with my words, y'all. This would be a good play on different types of colors on the color wheel, like complementary colors or something like that. That would be a great way to play with that. I think I've been really feeling like I want to do some pictures like that recently, like get my color wheel out and actually mess around with it. And here, if for you dragon and castle lovers, here is a mermaid and a dragon, which is which is a heck of a combo. Oh my gosh, that constant wet hair, long hair like that. I bet that would be a real pain to have to comb out. Can you imagine? At least my hair is nowhere near that long. But let me tell you, if it's wet and I was trying to take a comb to it, oh my word. Would not end well. But I guess if they're magical fantasy characters, I'm sure their hair perfectly smooths out with a comb. That'd be pretty with like a, a tropical type of palette. That'd be pretty with like um, one of those... Um, are they lilies? The the types of flowers that kind of sit on ponds and and yeah, I can't think of it. You think of like koi fish and stuff like that in this picture. I do apologize if I'm a bit quiet. Um, like I said, I haven't been feeling a bit under the weather this week. She's got such a, like, I feel like there's a story behind this. She doesn't look super happy playing her harp. Like, is she, is, is there, um, is there, like, a romance here? Is she pining for her love? Should I make this one? I guess I should color this one like Ariel, maybe. She's playing a love song. God, so pretty. That is a super long tale, too. That is a, I'm not playing around tale. You mess with her too much, she'll wrap that sucker around your neck. Choke you like a boa constrictor. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. 
I guess I'm in a weird mood today as well. Not just uh, sick, but <laughs> sick in the head. That's that's hey, that's a constant issue. That has nothing to do with actual illness. Oh boy, somebody figured out I was recording, and I'll give you some guesses. And the first two don't count. Quick, let's see what he does before I get too into this. Everybody say hi to Oreo and his dandruff. I feel really guilty and I don't want to kick him off too much. <laughs> I might have to pause the video. I have to ex tell y'all why in the next color and chat why I feel guilty. Y'all are going to think I'm a horrible cat mom. Okay, all right. <laughs> so this is Magical Fairies, again by Marjorie Sarnet. 31 images, as I believe every, all the Creative Haven books except for their color by numbers have 31 images. And their color by numbers have more in them. Here's the front cover. I actually color this, colored this one in the book. <laughs> okay, hang on a minute. I'm going to pause this so y'all don't have to see his dandruff. Okay, so he has had pets. Hopefully he is fine for the moment. So again, this is Magical Fairies by Marjorie Sarnet. Um, I really like this title page design where it's kind of free-flowing instead of having the smaller uh, image in the center. It's like not... It's one of those things that's not a huge deal, but I still kind of like it. I I would probably be more likely to color this and play around with just filling that in with watercolor or something than I would if it was a smaller image. So here is the paragraph and copyright, and then we get started. Love, love the design of this um, fairy. I started to say mermaid, man. I'm still in the last book. Um, love that, like totally seen flames there I know you're shocked you're shocked I did not color this one with the cat I I know I'm kind of shocked too personally I haven't done that one yet just sometimes you know it's not all cats here I I <laughs> she says as she dumps <laughs> another cat off her desk it's not always cats here. We do color other things. I colored foxes last week, a fox last week instead of a uh, cat. So at least in the, um, in the coloring chat. So like, like little dude sitting there jamming with her. Fairies are another subject matter. Now, see, this one's gorgeous, too. Like, I I can see coloring her very similar to um, the owl, like, very complementary colors to the owl. Maybe doing an autumn-type picture again here. Him and a lot of browns, kind of like the fox. Maybe her and some reds and yellows. Apparently, I am feeling rather creative today because I tend to blank out on these. And I'm seeing some of these and I'm getting ideas. That one would be real fun to play with, like, um, usually with, well, you'll see here in a minute. I'll explain it. So the next page is the one I actually completed in here. And I did... It was a combination, I'm trying to think. Um, the fairy herself is all Arteza water brush pens, and boy, I, real brush pens, excuse me. They're real brush pens. And I, this paper took a lot of layer of water brush without, real brush, not water brush. Um, took a lot of layers of real brush pens without, um, Pilling or tearing like it, it was pretty um, Forgiving so points to the paper for that 
I think I used either gel pen or pencil for, I'm pretty sure it's gel pen, for like the small little detail areas. And then I uh, used some regular markers for the rest of it. And I messed up here and the red was out too far. I tried to fix it with Posca and it was just a disaster. So I'm a bit bummed about that, but otherwise I absolutely love her. Love how her skin turned out. Again, I know you're surprised I have not done this one yet. Again, some oranges, uh, yellows in, the, in those daylilies would be real pretty. And this one's super cute. I've saw this one a few times and just, I don't know, the wildness of her hair really draws me in. This one, ten, I feel like, has a little more detail to it in the backgrounds and such um, compared to, like, the Mermaid's book. Not all of them. Some of them have more open backgrounds like the one I colored in. Yeah, like I said, I, I am feeling particularly creative today in that I can look at these and actually come up with ideas. It's just having the energy to actually execute them. It'd be really cool if you colored those three like the Hocus Pocus, which is, you could turn this into like a spooky, um, instead of fairies. <laughs> well, they're spooky witch fairies, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Wearies? <laughs> Fitches? I don't know. <laughs> Fitch with an F. That sounds even worse. Sorry, YouTube. I promise it's all good. It's all, well, we'll call it, we'll say it's PG related around here. Maybe not G, maybe not G rated, but at least PG rated. Got kind of have a wood nymph there. A lot of little bitty fairies. This would probably be a good one with uh, gel pens or really sharp colored pencils. Ooh, get some dragon scales going on with her wings. Dragon fairy. Why do I feel like I skipped one? I didn't. Huh. Got them with horses. Also love that one. Lots of little detail work though. Oh, these three might be fun to do the uh, Hocus Pocus theme on. Spe uh, I know... Thunder Junkie and Nikki and Niagara have a um, spooky tag already up for the next few months. So that would be cool to turn that into like a Halloween type picture. Probably now that I've grabbed onto that idea, I'm not going to let go of it. So at some point we're doing, we're going to be doing that one. I don't know if I'll do that on camera. Might wait and do that next month. I don't know how many Halloween pictures I'll get this month. So maybe we could do that next month. And by then I'll be a little more used to coloring in her books and not feel quite so um, intimidated, which last week's picture really helped with. And this is super cute. I do like that um, envisioning of the, the, the color palette a lot. All right, magical fairies. Oreo does not look impressed. He is sitting over there. I don't know what he's doing. I promise he's allowed to come up here. He's just kind of staring in space. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He probably, honestly, he probably wants me to feed him. <laughs> As with any cat, he probably wants me to feed him. African Glamour coloring book. This is a little different. Uh, it's Marjorie Sarna and Sia Slider on this one. Again, 31 images. So she teamed up with fashion designer Sia Slider. So. Hmm. 
There we go. It's your paragraph and your copyright. Let me take a quick drink. So this one gives you a lot of good opportunities for patterns. I would say bright, bold colors, but really any palette would work just fine with this. I think I have a... I, I colored a picture in here. I just don't know if it's still in the book. Like, we've discussed this. <laughs> sometimes I leave them in the book, sometimes I don't. And I need to start writing down what I'm using and stuff in them. Because, as y'all saw in that other one, I do tend to forget. So in this one, you get a lot of different um, types of pictures. You get um, some full silhouettes. Uh, you get profiles and silhouettes, and you get full images like this. This one's another open-ended one that um, it still has a border around it, but it's not just a set square border like is usually like she usually has. So. I've seen some really pretty versions of this on her Facebook page. These are, um, I've noticed that she does have some details and some patterns, but some, a lot of the background, um, is a little open as well to bring some balance basically to the picture and I really like that. Like right here again it's more open-ended with an open-ended frame um, in part of the picture and then you've got an open background but then you've got the detail in her dress. So I feel like there's a lot of balance to these images and that is super cool. I would be really interested in um, trying some watercolors on these backgrounds in particular. So this one does have some open, um, open images that aren't just a square frame. This one has more so that I think than most. In this one, you got a little more angular designs than in a lot of her, her other books, but that fits in with the style of the book, and I think it works well um, along with the typical um, flowy curves that she puts in her art. Oh my gosh, like I could see doing her dress also like mostly black and then a uh, dress with like a white pattern or other way around to kind of go with the zebra and then have, you know, a big pop of color maybe in the background. Or just have a very limited color palette right here I think would be real pretty. Oh, okay, it's in here. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, I must have tore it out. No, no, it's in here. Just got to get to it. I just think it's a real pretty variety of images in this one. Now that one, like with the open... Uh, decorations for her hair and stuff. 
that would be real pretty. All right, this next one's the one I did. So I did this one, it was either at the end of last year or the year before. And I think I just used mostly marker on this and then some gel pen. And I really enjoyed it. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it. It's again one of those where I colored the picture with marker and it wasn't that intimidating and nothing bit me. No coloring police came and arrested me because I didn't use the right thing or anything. So I don't know. I don't know why I block that sometimes. So there is African Glamour. Is this also 31? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. And finally, we have one of her more recent releases. I believe this was released earlier this year. This may very well be the one we color in next Monday is what I'm thinking. So, um, because I've been kind of chomping at the bit to get to this one. And it's a bit of a challenge just because of, it's got bright colors, which is my jam. Um, but color palettes I don't typically use. So, uh, Festive Mexican Talavera Designs. There is the back. And this one does have animals in it, I guess, but... So there are, I know of three different books of hers I do not have. Um, that is super cool. I don't have Elegant Elephants, um, the Angels one, I can't remember what's actually called, and the Dazzling Dogs. Which I believe I had that one, but I ended up giving it to a friend. So I don't have that one either. Um, I think those are the only three I don't have of hers as of right now. So I don't know. This one's also featuring a lot of animal designs. So I don't know if it'll be this one or maybe the mermaid one next Monday. I'm trying to color in the books I haven't colored in yet. On camera. Just to give, my, just to diversify a little bit and actually, you know, color in my books. <laughs> like, like I should be. But I do want to kind of mix it up. Um, I know it doesn't really, a lot of you, it doesn't really matter what I'm coloring, but I would like to do something that's not just all animals for the whole month. So we may do something a little different and color from one of the other three books um, next Monday. And I don't know, I might squeeze this one in at the end of the month or something. I will be coloring in this one this month. I just don't know if it'll be on camera or off camera. So some of these are again open-ended um, where it's not just the square frame, which is super cool. I like that one a lot. That is a smug looking goldfish. I guess it's a goldfish. It's pretty smug looking. Again, this is, I, I feel like this is a nice balance of um, detail on a lot of the imagery and then maybe a um, white space type background to it. This one to me doesn't seem as scary, I guess, <laughs> to my brain. I really do like the, the cover image. And again, y'all are all like, you're not going to color the cat first? And I don't know, I might. I like him. He seems like pretty, he, yeah, I guess it's he. Seems like pretty chill dude. But I like all the other animals in here too. Oh, wow. Well, that... That takes care of quite a few of them, doesn't it? We got birds and those dogs, I guess. <laughs> they're not foxes, or maybe they're foxes. I don't know. 
birds and cats and foxes. I do like the rooster though. Really kind of digging the rooster. Not the llama. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking, y'all. I'm just crazy. It's been a weird week. Being sick all week, it's almost been kind of hazy. I've seen a couple people do this one. I really dig this one, honestly. Um, the frog totally makes me think of Haley. <laughs> Over coloring with Haley. Um, now I kind of want to do that one. Oh. I don't know. Coyote. Maybe that's what that is. It's a coyote. Of close. That is one jamming donkey. Oh, we got another kitty. I do like when she includes um, animals from like some of her other books too, so. I guess they would be small enough. I don't know if those are actual mugs. It kind of looks like it, don't it? And then there's, I like the seahorse too. All right, so we have had a journey through four more of Marjorie Sarnett's books. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to color in next Monday. My guess is probably going to be the one, like I said, I want to do at least one page that features like her peop the people instead of just animals. So it may be, and I want to try to color out of books I haven't colored out of yet. So it might be Magnificent Mermaids. Um, but I don't know. Who knows? I may change my mind. But um, I will probably color out of one of these books next Monday. Take um, Keep an eye out for that. And who knows? I might just post something else at random at any given time. I don't know. We know how my schedule is. So um, and then I've got some plans for next Wednesday. But we got to see if I can get everything ready for it. I'm not sure if I'm ready for it yet. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Have a good weekend if I don't talk to you before then. And y'all take care. Bye for now.